Now you want to make sure that your seam got pressed all the way out along here. And I like to sew right along that top edge, maybe an eighth of an inch in. Remember, this is just for show. It will also add a little bit to the strength of the top of your pocket. Now we're just going to come down about four stitches and go right back across. Use your foot to guide your stitch line so that they'll be exactly the same width apart. That's a good top stitching rule. All right, now you want to clip your threads. Let me see, I got a few extra threads here. Okay, while we're over at the sewing machine now, the next thing we're going to do, um, just to save ourselves a few minutes, is we're going to sew the ends of our straps together. And to do that, we're just going to lay them on top of each other end to end. And we'll just sew those in from the, um, the salvage edge so we don't catch that. And I just take the end of my next piece and put it up there so I can just like chain piece these through. So that's sewn together. Now I'll trim off these salvages and then we will iron this open and uh, get to work on the straps. For your pocket placement, and you can pretty much eyeball it, you, you can uh, lay your pocket over and, and give yourself a little finger press so that you can line it up with the crease that you ironed earlier into your apron. And we're going to sew a center line down here. And we can see that we have just, a, just about the same distance on either side. You can measure this if it's really critical. If, if not, you can just eyeball it, pin it on. Then what we're going to do is we're going to top stitch all the way on the bottom of this to hold this on and do one center stitch uh, down the center of the pocket. And you want to place this, um, if you're a tall person, you want to place this, you know, this can be placed a little lower. If you're a, um, a shorter person, it can go a little higher. It just depends really on your body type. So this apron really does work for everyone. We love this fabric on here. This is a canvassy type of fabric that holds up really well to, uh, to washing and wearing. And um, I think you'll really enjoy this. So let's go sew this on, and then we're going to work on our straps. All right, we're sliding along here. People always worry when I come to my pins that I'm going to break my needle or something, so I'll just take that out. I kind of live on the wild side that way. Make sure your apron stays fairly straight. All right, so we're finishing up this last outer edge of our top stitching. So we have a double row all the way around. We'll pull our threads out, and then we're going to scoot this over to the center. And because we have our nice finger press on there, we can start at the fold on the top, follow this finger press line down. You just make sure that it's, it's up all the way. You can pin on this if you want. I backstitch right here because that gets a lot of strain from your hands being in and out of those pockets. Then we're going to sew that down, and then we got our pocket with our center on there. Isn't that darling? I'm going to clip these threads, and we'll go work on our straps. Now for the straps, this is kind of a tedious part, but it's necessary. We're going to fold this bottom in right here, and we're going to fold it in half to get a center crease. The reason we want a center crease is because as we come back, we're going to fold these parts into the center crease like this on each side. And then we're going to fold these over. And then You'll re-iron that together like that, and that gives you a nice little strap, and because it's now four layers thick, it can take a lot of wear and pull. So we're going to do this for the whole length of the strap. Now you can see we have this all pressed down, and we fold it over and fold it again, and this is going to make our tie, and we are going to stitch this 
top stitch this all the way down. The stitching adds to the strength and it eliminates that dreadful turning. So we're going to sew this all the way down this one length and then we're going to come back up the other side and sew the other side. So here we go. Okay, we're going across the bottom here, turning it and going up the other side. Here we go. Ooh, that was a lot of sewing right there. I'm a three strap girl if you know what I mean and if you're only a two strap it won't take you near as long. So to feed this through we're going to attach a safety pin to the bottom of this strap. We're going to kind of fold it and we're going to start on the bottom of the side piece on one side. We'll just slide that through like that and you push the pin with your fingers and pull the apron and the whole thing will slide in. This is a pretty fast way to thread something through. And then we're going to go up over the top here. See, there it comes. And we're going to pull this out until uh, we feel that first seam. And then we're going to thread it back down the other side. So what you get with this casing is you get these marvelous aprons that, ha that are completely adjustable. You can um, make the neck longer or shorter as you want. It, it just pulls and slides. And this is really my favorite kind of apron. When my little grandchildren come over to cook with me, I can put it on them or I can put it on my husband. Well, he probably wouldn't wear a cupcake one. But anyway, just as quick as that, you have a finished apron with your little strap ties. And you're ready to go. Now, one more fun little trick let me show you. If you take one of these towels, just like this, and you cut it in half, you can actually make two little small aprons for your little wee cooking helpers that come to cook with you. Or your little kids that love to draw and paint and cook, you can make two aprons out of this one towel. Okay, so we hope you enjoyed this product, this project, this little apron project. We've written this down for you to follow along at on the website. It'll be under the tea towel section. And so the tea towels are about $3, so for $3 and a half a yard of fabric, you have a great, fun, quick project that we hope you'll really enjoy. Happy sewing with the Missouri Star Quilt Company.